So anyone that knows me knows that I hate getting a naked phone. Like I'm afraid I'm gonna drop it, scratch it, break it. I need to put it in a case the second I get the phone. I've already ordered a couple cases on Amazon before the phone's even out. And that's no different for the 10R. So for today, I have some cases for the iPhone 10R for you to take a look at. Hey guys, and welcome to Bender 2 Bite Size Tutorials and Tech Reviews to let you know that you should get it or forget it. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and click for notifications so you don't miss out on anything. When it comes to phone cases, I know there are a ton to choose from, but for today, I chose three cases from companies that I've used before and trust, and each for their own reasons. For the full sake of disclosure, Pataka did send me the mag case for review, and I bought the other two cases on Amazon with my own money. But regardless if someone gave me the case or I bought it myself, they're always gonna get a fair review. Now, first up is the Spigen Liquid Crystal Case. The reason I chose this case is because it features their air cushion technology, which helps absorb any shock from a fall, especially on the corners there. The other reason I chose this case is because it's clear. The iPhone XR comes in six different colors, four of which look really good. Yellow, blue, product red, and coral. Why would you want to cover that up? You pick the color you wanted, show it off. Now, next up is the waterfall case from Caseology. It offers basically the same protection and is at the same price point as the Spigen case I just showed you, but it has a little bit of design to it. And the reason I chose it is because it has that little bit of flair. And if you want to add some aesthetic to the color you chose, I think it's a great option. Last up is the mag case from Pataka. Now it does cost more than the other two at 50 bucks, but it also has a couple other features that the others don't offer. It has these little metal plates that allow you to put it magnetically on any of Pataka's docks, but those little metal plates don't stop it from Qi charging. You can use any wireless charger you want, at least any one I've used so far and I haven't had any problems. I will say that it offers less protection for the screen though. It is flat up against the top as where the other two have a lip but you can easily fix that with a screen protector. Also, unlike the other two cases, this case covers up that colorful back you chose. So, unless you went with the black or white iPhone XR, that might be something worth considering. This is actually the same case that I use for my iPhone X and XS Max. I use it because I need an ultra thin case that I was able to fit in my gimbal, but also still protect my phone, and this does an excellent job of it. Overall, there are three good cases that have all the essentials, and each with their own style. Now, if you're interested in picking up any of these, I'll have links down in the description below. And that's it for me today, guys. If you found the video helpful in any way, leave a like, leave a comment, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.